In today's episode, we are going to create this India Gate Fashion Photo Manipulation in Photoshop. And we'll be using this image and we'll be converting it into something like this. Coming up. Hey what's up this is Harshwardhan and welcome to another superb episode. In today's episode we are going to take this image. This image is by the Amit Batra and we are going to create this photo manipulation India Gate fashion photo manipulation and we are going to turn this image into something like this. So this episode going to be very very exciting because you are going to learn lots of new things. So first of all we are going to build the background and we'll create this surreal India Gate magical abstract scene and then we are going to place our model over there and then we are going to create the final retouching so there are so many techniques which you are going to learn from this episode so make sure you stay till the end of this video and before we go any further please do subscribe to this channel if you have not already subscribed and to subscribe just click the big red button below this video and you will be subscribed to this channel and don't forget to click the bell icon as well that way you'll not miss any new video from this channel having said that let's get started So this is the background we will take and this is the grass image you can see so I'll remove the layer mask let me just delete it and show it from the beginning so let's create a one layer mask choose the gradient tool and make sure it's black and white and press ok and make sure it's linear and click let me first magnify it show you that you choose the linear style and make sure you select the mask over here and click here and drag it down and that way it is going to remove it but it has undo it or done it reversely so we'll check the reverse option and we'll click and drag it down and that way it is going to remove the top sky from here and let's place this India gate image over here and zoom in and fix this area so we'll create another mask choose the brush tool and make sure the this one is the soft edge brush increase with zero hardness and it's increase the opacity so let's say around 50 or 51 percent and zoom in choose the black color from here it's very important and adjust the size of the brush and click here once and click here once then click back and remove this edge And zoom in and remove this as well here we have some problem and we'll zoom in and we'll remove certain part from here as well so that it looks like it's mixed or that it feels that it is on the ground not floating on the ground Now select this, click control click and create a curves adjustment, drag it down from the highlights, something like this. And choose the layer mask, increase the size of the brush 
and make sure the soft as brush is selected opacity let's say 20 percent and paint on the front a little bit so that we get little bit of light over here you can see the difference now create another layer blank layer and call it fog and for this purpose we'll select the fog brush or the smoke brush if you don't know how to create one just go to my channel and find there is a tutorial on that you can create your own fog brush and let me just load my brush it's not currently loaded over here so let me select the brush presets and select this options and select load brushes let me browse where it is and it's over here let me select this my brushes all and probably i will get it now let me see where is it okay it's over here let me select this one oh oops let me select this one and choose the white color and make sure the opacity 10% flow is also 10% and increase the size of the brush little bit and start painting and lower down the size or adjust the size accordingly and increase the opacity to 30% if you don't see any fog and make sure you make it let's say 50 percent because it's not visible in this scenario and we are going to paint in over here lots of fog and it's always good to have low opacity and build up the effect rather than rather than in sorry rather than uh, stroking with 100 percent okay and this is going to create this magical feel you can see the difference by turning it on and off now create another layer below it and choose the soft edge brush simple brush Make sure the opacity is 10%. Press Alt and select this color from the glass or increase the flow to 100% and paint in. And keep on taking samples from different areas and paint. That way it is going to mix the horizon with this ground. And if you think you have overdone it, you can always lower down the opacity. Let me rename it clouds. It's not clouds. Oops. Filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Oh, oops. Let me cancel it. Let me rename it to the, let's double click where it's written clouds and call it grass or the ground and unlock this one by clicking on the lock icon, cancel oops and change it to the cloud. Then, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> filter blur and goes in blur. change it to the clouds rename it and then go to the filter blur and choose gaussian blur and this was this will blur the clouds and choose the radius very small radius of around something like this and let's say 5.2 and okay you can see the difference 
now create another select the grass or the ground and select the curves adjustment from here and drag it down and drag the highlights also down something like this and adjust it to make it little darker and you can see the difference by turning it on and off now select the curves adjustment and create one gradient and click on this and choose this gray color and press a dark gray and press ok press ok and change the style to radial choose the reverse and scale it up little bit so that this gray color is spread everywhere press ok select the layer mask choose the brush tool soft edge brush with 50 percent opacity paint in so this fog or this color is removed from the center and you can see by turning it on and off and now bring in the model so this is the model image and i have ex extracted it already so let's zoom in or uh, see let's create a duplicate copy of press ctrl j command j and choose the brush tool soft as brush select the layer mask this time and with the black color 100% opacity remove this line or this edge which is over here and okay remove it just by painting it with black and let me turn this off yes remove it from there as well And press Ctrl T resize her something like this and reposition her wherever you want but in this case I'll place her over here let's zoom in and create the layer mask select the layer mask and choose the grass brush from here and go to the brush settings and remove the color dynamics and start painting over here with the black color so that some grasses are added and it appears that she is not floating in the ground okay oops let me undo it I have selected white color mistakenly and zoom in choose the soft edge brush select this layer mask and with white color paint over here because we removed certain some of the dress which we don't want Press Ctrl J to create a duplicate copy of it. Right click and select. Oops, right click. Uh, select this layer mask. Right click over here on the blank side and select rasterize layer. And right click and select convert to smart object. Rename it to the shadows press ctrl u or command u to open up the hue and saturation bring down the lightness press ok and change its layer blend mode or change it to the rasterize layer press ctrl t select the distort move the anchor point down or bottom and drag it this way mm -hmm. 
Go to the filter blur and choose Gaussian blur. Increase the radius to something like this. Press OK. Change its layer or lower down its opacity to around 37% or let's even further. Maybe something like this 33%. Press Ctrl T and choose warp and drag these handles under the dress something like this and drag this down over here create another black layer choose the softest brush opacity is around 10 percent choose the black color from here you can press d on your keyboard to have the access to default black color and start painting over here with black color so this is going to make this little darker and we get this result and chooses shadows press ctrl t and select flip horizontal because shadow should be on this side as the light is coming from this side and press enter and lower down its opacity even further Now select the girl image, rename it as girl so that we can identify her. Select the curves adjustment and make sure you clip it to the underlying layer and drag it up something like this and press Ctrl I to invert the mask. Choose the brush tool, soft as brush with 10% opacity and paint on this side make sure you select the white color and that way it is going to add extra light on this side and paint on the body little bit as well and on the dress lenga and on the face little bit then we are painting with the lower opacity around 10 percent create another curves adjustment and make sure clip the mask and drag it down and press Ctrl I to invert this and this time we are going to paint in some shadows on the model so we'll choose the brush tool soft as brush with the black color a uh, white color make sure it's white color and we'll paint on this side so this side has to be dark because light is coming from the right side so left has to be a little bit more dark that's how we can bend the light you can see the result by turning it on and off and you can check that by turning it on and off now select this one shadows and let's readjust this position so press ctrl T and right click and select warp and warp it around on this side on the left side because light is coming from the right side so it has to be on the left side let's adjust it maybe something like this and press ctrl T once again let's rotate it 
and place it over here scale it down and adjust it until it gets right and select distort and let's make it something like this pick any of the corner and drag that and you can see this one is the dark one and reposition this one as well and this one is looking good now select this India gate layer and go to the filter blur and filter blur and choose Gaussian blur we are going to blur this out and let's choose the radius of around maybe something like this 1.5 or 2 okay let's see which one okay 2 is fine and press ok and now this is blurred it's out of focus to give it realism we are doing this okay now this one is looking much much better 